phone, the keys, the money. Your butt. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> you do that all the time. Why should I be concerned? <laughs> on the blooper reel folks and now our feature presentation Tonight, six thirty two of SNR. Right here, it's Eugene Chap and Jay. Yep, it is us. Hi, tonight's episode of SNR is our tenth game of Jeopardy Platinum Edition. Then, we're on week 10 of Rewind in Time as we are tackling PS2 Game Boy Events with Ben Burner 3 Takedown, King of Fighters. Ben out? Is that what you said? <laughs> what? You sounded like you were about to say Ben out. <laughs> ben out. <laughs> oh my god. Eh, it's appropriate. Well, it's appropriate. Yeah. Ben out. Wow. <laughs> Been a week, folks. Been a week. He's not alone. Burnout 3, Burnout 3 Takedown, and then King of Fighters EX Neo Blood for the Game Boy Advance. That is tonight's episode. And yes, we are getting close <laughs> to get Rewind the Time done. Because next week, it's going to be Xbox GameCube Watch with the same game, by the way. So if I ain't done in one on one console, it'll go right to the other console. And we'll go from there. So there's that. But anyway, tonight's for the week. Well, uh, you ever been preparing a little skillet meal for dinner and then you fall asleep? That's, I call it Hamburner Helper. And that's your word of the week. Hamper. What? Oh, Ham okay. Hamburner Helper. If you leave it on the stove too long, you fall asleep. <laughs> And that's what happened. Mm -hmm. No, it's not. <laughs> oh, but that's the word of the week. Yeah, it's the word of the week. It's just what would happen. As a theory, the rice, was, the rice in that shit was still crunchy, so I didn't cook it long enough. <laughs> oh. So, tonight's show of the week, it is, yeah, Ham Burner Helper. You all know who you are. Right. <laughs> How as I put it? 
getting it done too much. And that's basically what happened if you forgot you had a a hamburger and uh in a grill on a grill and you leave it too long and you forgot to push the time button for it. Well if it's an actual hamburger on the grill it just hits just charcoal at that point. <laughs> right. Well if again to put it on a boiler, if it got to push the button, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's what happened. But anyways, yeah, it, it's been a it's been a week, folks. Let's just leave to that. Uh, but on the bright side, I know what's coming in on Wednesday. SS4. And what I'm seeing, that is now changing the game. Can't wait to stream with T. Yeah. <clears throat> on my end, it's probably not going to be tomorrow because we still got the Splatfest going on. Oh, that's right. I might. I'm, if you're doing it late, then I might join you. Well, it is late. Okay. It's always at 6. Yeah, okay. well, we're doing it. We're doing it at, uh, we're what? doing it at, uh, five hours earlier, so. We're doing it at 1. Mm -hmm. Actually, I might join you on that tomorrow for Splatfest. Cause I do got the game. And I think what's what best is the Zelda because Tears of the Kingdom is coming next the upcoming Friday. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna be on the Switch. And I will bet that game is gonna be nominated at the Game Awards again. It could be. Could be. I'm and Breath of the Wild won Game of the Year, so... Could be Tears of the Kingdom. I feel like if this has the same amount of awesomeness, there's no doubt it'll be nominated. No question about it. And if it's gonna win Game of the Year for this year... That's gonna be... I don't know. I gotta see what kind of competition it has, though. Right. Mm -hmm. But anyways... Uh, I think you remember in 2017, that year was kind of owned by Nintendo. Right, and it won Game of the Year with Breath of the Wild. Yeah. And that's never been done. Nintendo has won Game of the Year. I think they did it before, but it had been a long time. Yeah. <laughs> That'll probably be a long time coming. Anyways, come up next, folks. Oh, come up next. Hold on. First up... Uh, first up is Jeopardy Platinum. Well, yeah. So we're gonna see how well this will do. When we get back. So, grab popcorn, sodas, get back, relax. We'll be right back. Welcome back. S and R. Jeopardy Platinum Edition for DOS. So far, nine games. $278,800. Just past quarter of a million. And now, long game number 10. And now your other question is...
how long can we keep it going? Until we get burnt out and finally lose before the end of the season. Here we go. Three to one. Categories. And now, here is our Alex, 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 Alex Trebek. We miss you, Alex. Thank you, Johnny Gilbert. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to your uh, favorite hey, game of doing an answers job. and questions. So we know who the contestants are, so let's go to work in the first round, Jeopardy. the Jeopardy round, which has the one daily double. He forgets she's also doing a blossom oh, that's right. Here are the categories. World literature, world literature, health and medicine, health and medicine 16th century, 16th century world, capitals, world capitals, tea time, tea in quotation marks, and observatories. Tea time for one. Uh, one sense will tell you it's the tactile sense. Touch. Tactile seems like touch. That's right. Pick again. T for two. It's the perfect woolen fabric for a New York political boss. The tweed. Tweed. Yes. <coughs> T three. Comforting thought. World book says only three or four of every one thousand these big cats eat. What are tigers? Eager. Tigers. You got it. We do oh my. Orson Welles said, I hate this medium. I hate it as much as peanuts, but I can't stop eating peanuts. Television? Television. You got it. I can oh. The TV. Once a colonial sugar plantation, La Casona is now the president's house in this kid, Caracas. Caracas. What is what? Caracas. C A R. There it is. You're right. Oh my. Daredevil. Oh my. Yep. This London River has been called for liquid storing. What is the Thames? Thames. Thames. There you go, the Thames. That's right. Pick again. Hey, I say, let's visit the Thames River in London. Oh, gosh. Wow, that's another one of the week. That's us World Capital. Yes. Many people enjoy riding the hydrofoil from Vienna to this one. What is Budapest? Budapest. Yeah. That's a correct response. Select again. The devil. The Temple of the Reclining Buddha is the largest temple in this capital of Thailand. What is Bangkok? Or if you leave, this capital of Bangkok. Well, that's the capital of Bangkok. You got it. Make another selection. <laughs> and then we just realized that was the blooper. Anyway. The lake gardens are one of the most popular attractions in this Malaysian capital. What is Kuala Lumpur? U-L-A-N. Wait. U. U L A N. That thing. That's the one. No, I'm sorry. That's one. Oh shit! I think it's Kuala Lumpur. Oh, the other one. Fudge. I got Mongolia and Malaysia mixed up. Yeah, it's Kuala Lumpur. You got it. Yeah, because the other one was Mongolia. 
One of the oldest known structures used as an observatory is this one in Wiltshire, England. A telescope? Yes. Oh, I know what a stone hinge. Right, right, right. In 1530, Holland Roman Emperor Charles V granted this island the Knights Battalier. Um. Malta? That's a correct response. Oh, Select again. Dear. Oh, dear. James Joyce intended to write Ulysses as a short story for this collection. Tall tale. No. What is Dubliners? Right. Uh oh. Oof. In fifteen eighty two, Pope Gregory Institute instituted the Gregorian calendar. What's the Julian? It's the Julian calendar. L I A N. There it is. What is the Julia Roberts calendar? What the Ooh. fuck is that? <laughs> That's a correct response. Select again. Alright, here we go. Every mother has Julia Roberts. There you go. Ah, oh, do you know what that? I just came up that on the fly, didn't I? Hold on. Dictionary. Hold on. There you go. What do we, uh, dictionary, by the way? What is Kiev? Yes. Kiev, yep. Uh, shoot. Mm. Well, since it got 16th century going, 100. In 1501, this explorer for whom Amer- Who is Vespucci? Amerigo Vespucci. M-E-R-I-G. It is Vespucci. Well, that's Gucci. You got it. Make another selection. 300. His dreams of a utopian society ended on the scaffold in 1535. Oh, who is... Thomas Lipton! Oh no, Thomas That's Moore. That's a correct response. Thomas Lipton was wrong. I had Thomas, I couldn't figure the last thing. The first coronagraph was used in 1930 at the Pic du Midi. Oh, what are the Alps? <coughs> French Alps? Oh, Pyrenees. Pyrenees. Right. French Alps. Wow. The 1553 execution of this emperor by Pizarro's men marked the end of the Inca civilization. What? Who is Montezuma? Who is what? Montezuma. G E. Yep, Montezuma. No, no. sorry. Oh shit! Oh, it's not Montezuma's revenge. Was it Montezuma? No. Oh dear. At least it's not a Montezuma. That's oh, right. I think again. They are so cool. An observatory in Jaipur. In the... What is India? Oh God! What is? What is India? What is India? You're right. 
1976, a highly telescope on this California mountain was the world's largest reflector of 200 was inches. Mount Whitney? That's what I think. Let's go with it. Ah, oh, I'm sorry, no. that's wrong. Uh-oh. We're going backwards, and we don't want to do that. California Mountain, that's I can only think of as Mount Whitney. No, it's Air, no, pa Palomar. Palomar. Right. Palomar. I ne never heard of that. Oh, dear. This Victor Hugo work is divided into five sections, including very high shoulder. What is Les Miserables? Uh, it, yeah, Les Miserables. Do you hear the peep thing? You got and it. And I'm Javert. St. Bernard guides Dante during the final leg of his journey in this epic work. Oh, um, oh, what oh, oh, oh. Inferno? Oh. Yes. No. <laughs> no, what is Dante's Inferno? No, yeah, it's just, yeah. <laughs> Or just, or just or inferno. Inferno. Just type inferno. Oh. Inferno. Epic. <coughs> oh. No, sorry. Uh -uh. Why did you do that? We're gonna be bone fucked. The Divine Comedy! The Divine Comedy! Yeah. In 1675, England's Charles II founded this observatory located in what became the Prime Meridian. What is Greenwich? Greenwich. It's Greenwich. Yes. Greenwich. Oh dear. Wendy's it's finally on the board. Greenwich. Leo Tolstoy spent years researching Napoleon and Alexander the First to prepare for writing this novel. What is War and Peace? No, no. It's, it's, no, it's Anna Karenina. Yeah, that's what I was. I was gonna put Anna Karenina. It's def no, it was definitely Anna Karenina. Because that I was going to go with in the first place, because Leo Tolstoy was a big giveaway to Anna Karenina. No, that's not right. It's not? What else? No, it's War and Peace. Oh my gosh. Oh. Yeah, just no, no, and out. No. I told you it was yeah, war and peace. Sorry. This condition is caused by the parasitic groundworms. Oh, jeez. Now I'm up. What? Oh, God. Oh, it's the right. Yeah. Like, no. Chapter one of this class begins in a certain village in Lamont. Here's Donkey. Where's Donkey Odi? Don Quixote. Yes. There you go. How to go hunting, 400. An orthopedic, this means putting a limb, bone, etc. under tension while using weights and pulleys. Oh shit, we should have gone 500. Traction. Traction. That's right, Traction. Yeah. Now he's gonna, oh, go, no. gonna get it. Oh. Hemiotiliasis is used to remove impurities from the blood when these. What is your. What are the. Liver? Hold on, double check first. No, I, 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 it's the kidneys. Okay, good. I, 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 was, 
I was getting ready to say the kidneys. That's a correct response. Select again. Five hundred. That's gotta hide it. Hey, you know what? Do it. You don't have a choice. Yeah, no yeah. choice. The fence is a painful and dangerous condition caused by bubbles of this gas in the blood. Ooh, bends. Oh. Nitrogen. That's right. Pick again. This is any exercise that makes the heart and lungs work harder to provide oxygen to the muscles. And well, no, oh, sorry, no, uh, anaerobic. <coughs> oh, oh, oh that's another word to that. Aerobic, just aerobic. Yeah. Damn, Fred is just making a lead out. We're only not far behind. Renny's got eight hundred, but she's. Gonna pick first and the double jeopardy round. All right, it's time now for the double jeopardy round. Here are the category: <laughs> classic cinema, classic <laughs> cinema, <laughs> nickname, USA nickname, foreign architecture, foreign sports. architecture, sports, sports. Just, desserts. just desserts. And finally, Saints. Betty Davis played a deranged ex-child star in the nineteen fifty-two from her co-star Joan Crawford. Whatever happened to Betty Jane? You got Make another selection. Uh oh. This English king died a week after Westminster Abbey was consecrated. Oh, Walker. Edward? The confessor. Yes. Oh. City. Here we go. The nickname Crescent City comes from the curve of the Mississippi River. But what is New Orleans? New Orleans. Right. You know, let's keep the city one. Two. It's America's city of witches. What is Salem? Better be Salem. Better be Salem. Well, Salem, Massachusetts, not the capital of your state. That's a correct Salem. response. Select again. It's the Empire City of the Empire City. What is New York City? Gotta be NYC. Right. I almost missed out York, but I got it. Anyway. This city on the Tampa Bay is the Sun Sunshine City. Oh, 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 oh. What is Miami? Hold on. Where is it? I thought it was Daytona. No. No, it's uh, St. Petersburg. Oh, St. Petersburg, yeah. St. Petersburg. Put it as ST. There you go. You got it. This Alabama industrial city grew so fast it became known as the Magic City. Mobile? Oh, what's in Montgomery? Birmingham. What is Birmingham? Oh, it's the other one. M. Thank you. That's right. Pick again. Classic cinema for two. In Casablanca, it's the song Bogart is referring to when he says. If she can stand it, I can. Oh, um, um, 
Oh, what's that song called? Um, uh, 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 um, shoot, is it, is it, is it, that, is it? As, as time goes by. That's what I was about to say, yeah, as time goes yes. by. And Fred's just gotta be full we did. And it below the two daily doubles, and he spent 1200 on this. In, in Russian, Russian architecture, it is the citadel of a city. It's the crown and he is pushing the lead out. Thousand. Laurence Olivier dyed his hair blonde for this role, which won him an Oscar as the best actor of 1948. Hamlet? Hamlet. That's right. Pick again. Never knew that one. Hey. In the dessert version of Fondue, cake and fruit are dipped into this. What chocolate? It has to be. You got it. Where's the dinner type you use cheese? Correct. <sighs> this dark liquid is the traditional sweetening of Indian pudding. Fudge? No. no. Is it... What is rum? Hold on. Indian pudding? It's for the Indian pudding. I think it's molasses. It's molasses. Oh! Da 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 da. Tribute to Nick. That's a correct response. Select again. Remember, it's molasses. Wum. That, that that's, a, that's a good guess, though. Molasses. Mm. I forgot what on the rest of the sponsor was by Nick. O N W B nineteen eighty nine, I forgot. Now we know that four other categories have a daily double hiding somewhere. Sports too. The Outland Trophy is awarded yearly to the outstanding interior lineman in this in college sport. What is football? Collegiate. Yes. Olympic chants in this track and field event include Rally Brummel, Charles Duma, and Dick Fosbury. Oh, Fosbury. He was, a. Uh, he was, um, high jump. That's he was the one who did the Fosbury so flop. In 1973, this horse became the first in 25 years to win the Triple Crown. Um, um, um. Shit, who was it? 73, that would have. No, that was sec uh, bleh, 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 Secretariat. Oh, yes. yeah, Craig Ferguson had Secretariat as the dancing pantomime horse during the Late Late Show. S-E-C, S-E-C, R-E-T-A, there you go. You got it. Make another selection. Do a double, please. <laughs> Cornelia Ender was the first woman to win four gold medals at one Olympics in this sport. Swimming. Right. This top fuel drag racer is the only woman in history to win the world title three times. Yes. Well, I would have. I know it's not RuPaul. <laughs> she asked Gary Grant, "Why don't you come up sometime and see me? I'm home every evening." That's right. Pick again. Who, Who was it? 
It's a thin sheet of sponge cake spread with jam and rolled up. Jelly roll. Jelly roll. Yes. Uh -oh. The islands in this float in floating island are made of this egg white mixture that tops key lime pie. What's the ring? Ring. No. No. I. Hold on. Moang, This is the N E R I N. There it is. G U E. You're right. This dessert has the same name as a six to eight. What is a brownie? Brownie. Yes. Cinema, finish that one off. Jeffrey Hunter played this, his most famous role in the 1961 film, King of Kings. Jesus? Jesus. Right. King of Kings was the clue. Jesus Christ. In Japan, a chashitsu is one of these. A famous one is of the August Moon. Pagoda. No, no, that's not right. Wrong. Anyone else? Tea house? Tea house. You got it. Oh, the Japanese tea ceremony. In Spain, a posada is one of these. However, a ramada isn't. A hotel? You got yep. it. Make another selection. For 1,000. It's the Italian term for a freestanding bell tower like the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Oh, what is a Leaning one of Pisa? What is a tower? Wait, wait, wait. No. It's the Italian term for a freestanding bell tower like the Lenin one of Pisa. What is. Oh, Campanelli! I'll hmm? spell it. Was Campanelli. P A M P. P A. N I L E. No, 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 no. C A M P. A M P. A. N I L E. That's a correct response. There you Select go. Ah, okay. Phew. What is that falling? A Feng Ho Chiai is one of the beacon towers along this very... What's the Great Wall of China? Yep. Right. St. Freak's Wide is the patron of this English city and it's... What is Oxford? Oxford. God damn it. I think I didn't know that. That's right. Pick again. Oh, your mum's gonna beat the crap out of you. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, else mum and baby would have got me for that. If I didn't know Oxford. Well, at least we got it. This visionary saint of yours died at the age of 35. Oh, um. Boy. Bernadette? That's a correct uh -oh. response. Select again. Uh, He's a patron saint of dancers and even has a dance named after him. Um. Fight is. 
You're right. Yeah. All the fighters there. Same thing for Ladislas and Steven, who are both in this country. Ladislas, that's hungry. Okay. 22 8 is our best, and I have a bad feeling he's going to risk 3 5 0 1. Well. Only one way All to right, find players, out. Start thinking about your wagers Unless. for Final Jeopardy based on what category you know about is this category: government and politics. Government and politics. We don't have a choice. We have to play to win. So eleven for it. Floor it. Go for it. Well, the question is. If there's a dick giveaway. We got it. If it's not, how we're gonna wing it is you to find that at home, folks. So cross your fingers, hope for the best. This cabinet department is in charge of printing all postage stamps. Treasury deals with cash, I know that. That's one. Be. You said the, the, the post office. Right. Yeah. It's got to be post office. Wait, wait, wait. It wants the cabinet department. You sure it's the post office? I need double check. The United States post. Oh, hold on. Hold. Yeah, I was gonna say. Hold this one out, folks. Wait. No, I'm gonna delete. Hold on. This cabinet department is in charge of printing all postage stamps. Department of Treasury deals with the cash, because I know that the, that's that. That's one. Oddly enough, the Bureau of Engraving and Printing is a government agency within the United States Department of the Treasury. It's the Treasury. It was? It's the Treasury. How? Well, time out, time out. I think stamps are considered money because you have to pay postage. That's true. So I've got to go, yeah, I got, I've got to go with the Treasury. And that was the first thing I just said, too. And you said it, and you said treasury is money, and money is seen on staff. Yeah, so 
So Treasury is what I'm going up. with. So let me put the Department of... Or just the Treasury. Treasury. Okay. We got it. We got it, folks. Yep, yeah, there it is. Treasury Department. Yes. You got it. Yes. What is Fred yes. saying? He's got it. I knew it. We missed the biscuit and he just beat us. Ugh. Wow, that is the shitter. Well, we're finishing in second place, folks. $1,000. Yep. Yeah. Well. And unfortunately... I went the doodle. Hands over. Wow. Oh, if it was a rematching, I got his rematch indeed. Way to go, champ. Thank you for playing Jeopardy. Let's do it again real soon. And, and you know what? And I said I could. I thought it was the Department of Treasury because that deals with cash. And believe it or not, it was the Department of Treasury. But unfortunately... Fred had a bit higher than me. Yeah, sure, he's got a good up. Nope, he's got it. And unfortunately, thus ending another game one. Oh, that's down the shitter. Alright. So, next week, a new game one. <laughs> but we'll have to figure out which one it is. But to be honest, you did say you want to stop game runs by the end of the season. But unfortunately, that's what happened. We got beat out. I think our game show games should be game played from now on. <clears throat> Given that this is our final season. Uh, you want to rephrase? Uh oh. You want to rephrase? <laughs> Never mind. I take that back. Thank you. That's a. Yeah, I said, yeah, no, wait a minute, we, we're not ending as not because remember we had that off-camera talk that we are keeping as not going. And the only way we are switching next year to Twitch is we are doing varieties. And I quote, The only way we are keeping as not going, right? The only thing we are keeping that's not going 
And I quote, We kept it going. Look at these guys. And we're not going to stop. Next year, every end Saturday, we are going for the end Saturday varieties that's going to be streaming on Twitch. If it's like Monopoly, Monopoly Junior, and whatnot, we can start at 7. That means we can add more varieties to the mix. Yeah, and put triple Yahtzee in the same club as Monopoly. Right. Well, if any good time, like, mm, what we got next year, we may do, like, Mario Party, so, Sting games we could play, um, game nights we can have, there you go, it's all right there. <sighs> And who knows, maybe we might try and open up more applicants for other game show games. Like, Jay and I could try and get more people to sign up to see if we could have enough for a tournament of sorts. Like a Wheel Fortune tournament, Jeopardy tournament. <laughs> yeah, something like that. What? But the rule is we are not making the masters because we do not want the same people playing over and over and over and over and over and over. What? We're gonna talk to that one off camera too. So, when we get back, folks, Burnout 3, Takedown, PS2, and we're gonna talk off camera of what's going to go on. So when we get back. Welcome back as an R. Right now, it is Rewind the Time. It is week 10. And this is the PS2 Game Boy Advance. And this is the PS2, which we are going to play, to play Burnout Three takedown. Now, if you haven't seen this, it's a racing game, but also you take down your opponent. Alright, here we go. What's up guys? You're listening to Striker on Crash FM. Just need a few minutes of your time to cover the rules of the burnout road. To succeed in burnout, you need to be winning races, but you're not going to win races unless you take risks. 
The big reward? That's easy. You earn boost. Using boost gives your vehicle a speed boost. And you can use boost at any time to keep you in the heart of the action. Here's the lowdown. Risks can be taken anywhere in the burnout world. Take risks, you get reward. Get it? Near misses with other cars. Driving on the wrong side of the road. Drifting around corners. Tailgating your rivals. Escaping crashes. And so it goes on. You can even string these together to get two or more happening at the same time. Okay, so earning boost is one thing, but to win, you need to steal it. Battle with your competitors by rubbing, slamming, shunting, and grinding with them. You'll get a quick boost fix and you can use it immediately to mix things up. If you want to take a bigger risk, try taking down your competition. Takedowns are when you wipe out one of your rivals, and if you do it, you'll grow your boost and fill it. But if you get taken down, your boost bar gets taken down too. Okay, something new is crash after touch. If and when you crash, activate impact time. When you are in impact time, you can steer your wreck. How cool is that? Use crash after touch to gain after touch takedowns or to help you get to the places other crashers can't reach. That was a public service announcement brought to you by Crash FM. All right. I think that's how it's done.
that's a takedown. I've already had four takedowns? Nice. Okay, so now, now you know takedown is pretty much you take down your competitors and get to. Okay. That's, that's pretty cool. fishing. So what's okay, okay, okay. Apart from burnout racing, you can also take part in the burnout crash championship. Here's everything you need to know, brought to you by me. I'm Striker right here on Crash FM. <laughs> burnout is all about risk and reward. Right. Well, here's the ultimate risk and the ultimate reward. Hammer your way into these busy traffic junctions and slam into as much traffic as possible. When it's all over, we'll figure out how much damage you've caused, how many vehicles you've tagged, and give you a damage total. All you have to do is beat our damage predictions, and we'll let you on to the next junction. Oh, and to make things really interesting, we've placed some markers for you to hit with your wreck. If you can tag them, we'll give you dollar increases or decreases. 
And for the ultimate reward, trigger the crash breaker for an explosive surprise. Hey, I did say it was risk and reward. First one to hit the totals gets to try some of the other rides we've brought along. Okay, something new is crash after touch. If and when you crash, activate impact time. When you are in impact time, you can steer your wreck. How cool is that? Use crash after touch to gain after touch takedowns. Or to help you get to the places other crashers can't reach. This is Strike, you're covering Crash on a uh, Crash FM. Now, how cool is that? Okay, so we we gotta try on the. Let's see. Got to 111,000. start. This is actually...
not much of a damage. Okay, so that's 22 hours left. Oh, that was that, oh, that, oh, that, oh, that. How much was in total? Oh, that's 144,000 in damage. God, now that's what I call some serious crashing. Let me do one more, and then we're probably gonna stop. Cause I'm starting to think this is actually fun, but I do gotta have to move on because we got other one well, last segment to get to. <laughs> This is a not a hundred forty four one. That was a really good. One. And twenty wasn't that much. Yeah. Try again. Oh, 
said that. That's not mine. <laughs> Now the record. So I guess a hundred forty eight thousand was on the first. But anyhow, that is burnout for you. That is burnout for you. Actually, it is a lot of fun, you know. Glad I. Glad I did pick this up because it was actually on my list to grab. Burnout 3. Oh, you know what? Benno 3, I've actually got this at uh, Sunken Treasures. It's a lot of fun. If you're, if you're in the area or in the Tri-Series area, head down to Sunken Treasures and find Benno 3 because it's a lot of fun. Highly recommend to play. But anyways, that is PS2. Now, since we just left 20th century, by the way, now we're heading to the 21st century, because when we get back, we're entering 2001 with the Game Boy events. When we continue. Welcome back, Arsenal Finale Game Boy events. In which you are gonna be looking at uh King of Fighters Neo Blood. You probably did see Terry uh Terry Bowl God.
round four. That one, but it's been an ouch. Round two, fight. She was stuck in my kicking range. Rage. Two down. One three. Fight. Come back for that. Thank you. 
uh, stop doing that, kid. You just got your ass whooped. That was a counter strike. Ooh, what bad all. Damn, this dude's not giving up. Okay. Oh my god. Who am I fighting? Wild the clock, huh? <laughs> It takes two hits for that. Oh no. Okay. Oh, he also has a bodyguard of.
Wong. That's one. So you don't mess with me. That's two. released out in uh, November. There was only days to pop when the original Xbox was officially released and then the GameCube comes stage right after. And that was right in 2001, so that was like months after. Ah, two against one, huh?
Ah, you fucker. Fight well, Keith. Hi, Pogan. Oh yeah, and I have 69 seconds left. Oh, that was a cheap move. Beat it, beat it. That's one. And he just ran the with 68 seconds left. Oh my god, what the fuck? Oh, 
Pelican. I'm not gonna give up. Well, the final battle, but the final boss is now a one bitch. <laughs> One down. One down, one down, one down. I was why on there. Can escape that. Keep searching. Jesus fucking Christ! Ah! <laughs> 
fucking Definitely not gonna let me fly. One more. We're gonna do this one more. If I'm not gonna get to the final battle, then that would be. Yeah, that's what's gonna stop right there. Just got all the way to the final boss fight. <laughs> Yes! And now I got it with 69 seconds left. About that time! This is gonna go down uh, for I just won by that tiny amount.
Last one. Last one. Last one. Come on. Now if I could do that the whole time. That was it. I am So this was season 13, huh? I cannot believe this. This is the first game of 2023. And I just beat the King of Fighters, Leo of Love, for the Game Boy event. What the fuck? I, uh, yeah, uh, uh, uh,
folks. I I have no prior practice on this before we film. I have I have like zero player test playthrough before we film. And when I looked through the list of the games I was expecting to be, so I, was, well, I was expecting to be, so let's go through the list. Bermuda Triangle was one. Did not get to be by set a really good score. Kabuki Corn Fire was definitely my first. Gave it a longer shot, but it wasn't that beatable. Let me see. Mario Brothers did not. Hang on for the Sega Master System was. I got far into the game, but didn't get really into it Th that far, but I really got far in the game. Um, Mega Man 5, I had a few troubles on. Side Pocket, I thought that was going to be it. Odd Type, I got far on Turbo Graphics. Musea didn't get far. Wolf Child for the Sega CD. I really got far into like what stage six, but game over. Temple came close to beat, but Space Invaders for the PS One. If we saw of last couple of weeks on Space Invaders, I did get far to Earth, but no. No, no, but the uh, got to Earth, but the uh, Earth boss was just mm -mm. But when I got to ready to one one more boxing for the um, N sixty four, I thought well, I didn't get as far, but it's like okay, I'm gonna switch to Super Mario sixty four. Till now, I thought okay, the practice there and. And then when I had that 120 star thing, I'm like, oh, crap, let's just give him out on that. And then found out it was more to be Bowser, but it was actually the game was already been beaten. But it says now proof that if I can actually do it on the N64, I could do it on the Switch. So that was just, you know, practice, but I still play it off camera. Um. Last week was Looney Tunes ready to warm a boxing for the Dreamcast. Looney Tunes I didn't even get started on. And ready to warm a boxing, really, I got far going into that, but beat out. Um, but now this. This is actually now the first game of season 13. I have finally beaten. Oh, let me double check on my. I think I'm on my, on my past season.
Okay, before I'm gonna end, let me see. Let's open in photos. Okay. We're just gonna go through. Uh, let me see. Actually, you know what? That is the first game of the season I beat. What the fuck? Wow. Okay. Uh, boys and girls, I, I, I checked the list, and yeah, that was the first game I beat. How many weeks are down to? I think after this, we are down to the last five weeks. Okay, well, let's... how about this? One moment. There we go. Now, next week. We are still going to continue the year of 2001 with the Xbox GameCube. Both released on the same month. However, excuse me, however, the days has been far apart. So, it was game, uh, Xbox released first, then the GameCube. So that's week 11. But then we're going to go 12, 13, 14, 15 down, down the line. Week 12, I got PSP 360 to come. Week 13, we got the PS3 and the Wii. Week 14, Wii U PS4. But then the final week will be Xbox One Switch. Now keep in mind It's going to be darn close to every line of time But A long road but a good one Now Come here, Mau Mau. I contend, huh, Pepeps? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, you see, it's crack a tent. 
But it's like I said before, we are actually com going to be down to the last five weeks of we want a time. Long good road. And I did say next week would be the game, uh, Xbox GameCube. So next week will be that. And then, then, oh yeah, because next week we'll be also be picking our new game one. And the question is, how long can we keep that one going? Huh, Peps? <laughs> no. Wanna say the folks at home? No. Just say thank you for subscribing. <laughs> they made four hundred and twenty million dollars to buy pussy weed, also known as catnip. <laughs> Hi. Enjoying your day? He was like, on my, well, she's on my lap right now, but earlier she was on me, like, pulling away, watching the coronation, huh, Peppers? Yeah, you was watching the coronation, huh? She's like, oh, yeah, I was on you, I'm recurring, making sure that you're fine. Oh, she's a happy kitty. You a happy kitty? Yeah, you're purring, huh? She's like, oh yeah, I'm purring. Catnip, be coming out. I need to get you catnip, huh? And she's like, oh yeah, I need that too. I think I need some more cat food, huh? <laughs> Alright. Ready, Pep Peps? Alright, well, that is it for our fun. I. And, and yet again, I still can't get over now. The King of Fires, I thought that was a hard game to beat. But I didn't know the extra buttons on there. And now, now I know. And the game's finally beaten. So, <laughs> there you go. Oh, I know that's game 47. Oh, shoot. Now it kind of reminds me, I was at the plaza too, I forgot to get some hangers. I could probably see what Bimos got tomorrow so I could hang some of the other stuff on the wall. But anyways, speak of, we are going to end the night episode because it is, that was the last segment and the time is nearly up. Uh, folks, it's, it's, a, it's a long night. And oops, I pooed.
Thank you, Colin Mockery and Pebbles is going, Ew, that's so gross, you stinky ass motherfucker. <laughs> no, Pebbles got up long before I, I farted. Anyways. So next week, next week here on SNR, we got a new game one, and then week 11, and then we won the time series, Xbox GameCube. Uh, so anyway, that's it. Oh, DM spiel. Like, I'm always forgetting to do that part. Well, that is it for night 632 of us. Now I'd like to thank the guys on Discord for being a part of it and helping out. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to hear us like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe to the others on Discord as well. If you like this or any other episodes of Astronaut, playlist will be on my YouTube channel, so find that one on the... On my... Well, I forgot. I go down, right down the below, below the video. Right click on my channel and then open new tab and... Yep. That. And then on my YouTube channel, I have everything nice and cool in playlist. And on that playlist would be every episode of S and all, so please check that out as well. Love and support as always. Season 13 will go part bottom right corner. And top right corner is where you're gonna find my channel, so if you can't even find it, it'll be It'll be up there sometimes when I do the whole. Yeah, if it's right up there, top light, that's where it should be. And when I'm on it, I make sure I get up there if not, then it'll be, it'll be on the channel. Um, what else? Oh yeah, if you do subscribe to my channel, don't forget to ring the bell to enable all notifications on, on the videos here on my channel so you won't miss an upload. Uh, what else? Oh, social medias! That's right, don't forget we are on Twitter for the YouTube page. Well, actually, it'll be my channel. Twitter page as I post the ass in our episodes. Notifications and stream alerts when I'm live. <laughs> and tomorrow on Twitch, 6 p.m. Pacific, <laughs> will be the last Gross Sunday of SS3. Yeah, so why are I said the last? It'll be the last Gross Sunday of SS3. Because May 10th, that's where SS4 is going to drop. And knowing me, it'll be up there on this computer, so I will be on there when it's going to be dropping. For SS4. But it'll be the whole season, so it'll be season 10, by the way, so damn. What else? Oh, uh, stream schedule too. I will be get that posted tomorrow before I start streaming. If no, I'll get a post during the split fast tomorrow. So that's that's that. Um, please check that one out as well. Twitch, Twitch. So like I said, tomorrow's cross of uh, the last cross Sunday SS3. Mondays, Monday, Mondays. Wednesday will be season uh, SS4. So we'll be streaming Fall Guys on Wednesday. 
And then first it will be a variety. What kind of variety? I don't know. But let's hope, hopefully it will be another one on my list to beat. Oh, and speaking of, the latest on the stream from Thursday will be the F-Zero Lost Tracks. If you want to know what happened from Expert to Massimo, please check that one out as well. I'll post it somewhere. I'll give you a give you on the video for that one. But yeah. Guys, that is it for the night. For you, team. Ben is over 1287. Stay safe. Stay awesome. Love, love you lots. And please. Think positive. Think strong. And still, be safe. Have a good rest of the night. We'll see you. Well, actually, I'll see you tomorrow. Twist stream. Catch you on the flip side.